here we go. We're on our way. We're leaving the parking lot. 10K horse today. You know, I consider myself uh, one of the top five mixed game players in the world. And uh, the door just closed on me. Let's try a different way this time. We gotta try a lucky way. We're gonna go this way. Last couple of tournaments I didn't quite find my best. I don't know why. Kind of bothers me a little bit. Um, I took the day off. Right now I feel absolutely fantastic. Uh, and hopefully that's going to carry us over to a good first day. Um, one thing with me is uh, I'm not young anymore. 51. So uh, maybe after I play, I keep getting these three deep in these day threes. I told myself I'd take a day off when I get deep in the day three, and with no limit deuce, I got only an hour in the day three, and I felt great. But by the end of the day, I was kind of mush, and I made some mistakes. Um, as far as then, I slept 16 hours, and I played the uh, dealer's choice, or not dealer's choice, but the eight game. Uh, again, late in the day, I struggled. So, um, took the day off yesterday. But uh, this is uh, my sixth tournament. We're two caches out of five. Uh, 15th and a 17th, both in 08. Uh, caching these 10Ks are very important. That's basically what the summer is all about. Final tabling one. To make a good summer, you have to get at least a third in one of So uh, why not this time today, this tournament? I feel good. It's all about getting to sleep uh, and uh, being ready and prepared. We are uh, just cruising here at a good speed. Good we don't have all these people, even though it is kind of fun driving through all those people. Uh, got a good feeling today. So we're going to go to the registration counter. That's always fun. Today I, I don't have 10,000 in chips, I only have the Bellagio chips, so they'll probably like put me through hell and back uh, buying in right now. Should be pretty fun. There he is, Miami John Renudo. How's it going, buddy? You still going? in the study? No, I'm in a horse now. Okay, good. I'll see you. Me too. All right, bye. We just, we just run people over in here. And we just hit the horn, we kick them out of the way. Yeah. 10K horse. There you go. I've been on the list for 20 years since I started here in 2014, 2005, and now I'm not on the list. See? Hey. You, it's fun. Every it's always a, it's fun. Every time you, you you sign up for a tournament, it's the most amazing experience ever. You don't know it's going to be anywhere between three minutes to thirty minutes. Go to the last register, all the way over there. I got removed from the lift. What's up? How did I get taken off the lift? How would you do in the Omaha? Uh, yeah. Are you finished? Front of me? Well, I've got to say, I was right going. Oh, my God. Yeah. The World Series was this big when I got on the list. And then I got this big, I was going on the list. Now I'm not on the list. So, this won't be our table because we will be redrawing for it, but... According to them, we have a uh, 430 feet one. Off we go. That was a very interesting uh, registration today. That was one I didn't expect, being off the list for the first time in 14 years. All right. Schwartz, how you guys doing? What's going on? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This guy's about ready to hit me, but he doesn't know it yet. It's all good. Mike, can you win this event for me, please? I will. Are we on break right now? Oh, good. 
Yeah, well, it took me 20 minutes to sign up. Uh, they took me off the list. What do you think, Mr. Lane Flack and Mr. Scott Cl Scott Clemens, recent winner of a WSOP bracelet? Oh, How does it feel? <laughs> feels good. Feels All good. Right. You know it always feels good. Okay. Yes. Lane Flack hasn't won a WSOP bracelet since Carter was president. How's it going, Lane Flack? Who's Carter? <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what I was trying to say. Now, let me ask you guys. What's your opinion of me being taken off the list for Bellagio chips? It just took 30 minutes. It sounds to me like I am off doing, the list. It sounds like they're How doing can their, I have been taken off the list? It sounds like they're doing their due diligence. Do you think that it's a conspiracy? <laughs> no. No? Do you think it's a conspiracy? No. no I do. I, really I think it's a conspiracy. No. Who have uh, conspiracy here's, here's, what, here's what's going on. They, they, so gaming commissioners crack down on all these money laundering deals, and if your card shows you haven't been playing much or whatever, I don't... That. Oh. So if they call over there and they go, they, they haven't showed any play of you, they, they, can't, they can't put you on the list. Ah, that could make sense. Yeah. Well, it makes a little bit of sense. Don't take okay. it personal. Oh, I just figured I use everything. They, they know you got cameras. They're not going to make it personal with you. <laughs> I think, uh, I thought maybe it was uh, politically motivated. Yeah. But maybe not. They know you're rising up in the political power, so. Uh, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, they, let me get me a chair, a seat. <laughs> I hope I'm not next to, I'm hoping next to both of you guys. What the fuck? All right, here we go. Look at this guy, Tom. Tom, 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 terrific. There he is, everybody. He's the one that's going to choose our fate today. Let's see what he has to do. Should we let Tom choose our fate? Let's do it. Tom, choose our fate. There it is. Tom has chosen our fate. Our fate says 432-4. That's 432-4. Tom has decided our fate today. You know where to find him? If we don't do well. All right. Okay. So, 32 is that way. We're going to go this way. Let's see, we have five more minutes. 432. 432. 4. 432. 4. 444. 432. 4 it is. That's it. C1, we have, um, state your name, Brock Parker, Brock correct? Parker, yeah. Where are you from? Maryland. Maryland. State your name. No. No. I'm in a hand. That's Matt. He's in a fuck. He's in a, he's in a hand. He's got one point on my fantasy team. He's in a hand. <laughs> he's way better when you announce it. Mr. Scott Bowman. The man who saved my life last year. Thank you, Scott. You're welcome. How's the World Series going this year so far? Awful. Exactly. Rob Mizrachi, as you see, he's dressed. I think he's got a hot date with something this year. Look at look at this, this outfit he's wearing. And this really needs to be. Look at that outfit he's wearing. He's trying to be serious. That's what happens when you finish third and don't win. So he's kind of a little disappointed. So he's got the. Did they wear that outfit in the '70s at the disco. Chris, what was your last no? name again? I forget. No. I know that. Chris, my friend. <laughs> This gentleman I don't know. I don't know. David, David Lett. From, uh, there, there he is. Played in Rainbow Club. In David, he's the man. <laughs> this guy needs no introduction. He's in the middle of a hand. We're going to wait for him. Look at the look on his face when he's in a hand. This is very good to know. I could, I could do some studying here when he has a hand or not. Actually, this is study. This is his hand. This is his hand. So you uh, see why that he has that. So this is why you see the look on his face right here. He rolled out of the hole three tenths somehow. He got half. He got a low. This is uh, let's just play straight stud eight or better, everybody. They didn't announce. Announce your name and where you're from to the camera. Uh, my name is Joey Cowden. <laughs> yeah, you wish. You no, wish you were Joey Cowden. Nick is the name. Nick is the name. You're from. And stud eight's the game. Uh, Ohio. There you go. And then the one and only Anthony, the dealer. This is our nice starting table, and off we go. All right, guys. Uh, first break of the uh, 10K horse. Uh, 42,000. Hand right on the break. Uh, Scott Bowman limps, I check. Ace 4, 4, 8. Four, eight of spades. Flop comes down. Um, ace, deuce, queen. With two spades, Scott bet the thousand a call. Turn card seven of spades. Scott checked. I bet two thousand. Check raised me. 
Um, I mean, I got a flush on a low, but I, I just felt like Scott would never check raise me unless he had it both ways. I should have folded. I called and called the river, and he showed me a 3-6 low and a 10 high flush. I feel like I gave away 4,000. Uh, kind of disappointing. I'm playing pretty good. But uh, most people will auto-call there, but you know me. I play OA pretty good. And uh, for some reason, I uh, I was tanking on a turn. I, I should have followed my gut. All right, well, I'm very, we'll run this up. Talk to you later. We have this idiot, that nice guy, because I don't know him. Won't call him an idiot. These guys seem like nice guys. Who are you guys? Say your name. My name's Scratch. What's your name? Mike. Mike. Steve. Steve. What's my name? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so, uh, Skippy. Skippy. Skip, skip, skip to Malu. So we're all out here. Where's the basketball court this year? Not out here? They, got, they took it away. Long How can they ago. take the basketball court away? Man, there was so much money being bet and won and oh, lost. No, you were hooping too hard, Mike. You were hooping too hard. Wow. But here we are. We're all outside here. Here, I'm going to drive around for everybody to see all these people. Let's see what we got here. Oh, here. We get these three on interview. We got the, the world's greatest, in my mind, Ray D. The second greatest, Jean Monet. And the biggest idiot, Eric <laughs> Wasserman. Now, let's, let's how's it going chips, today? Let's ask everyone their chip stacks now. Well, I, now doesn't mean you always have chips early. It's how well, I it, never, never have chips early. It's the first time I've been really? able to Really? Oh, this could be a first for you. You're wising him up. I love this guy. Listen, if I don't make fun of you, that means I don't like you. There you go. You know that. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> I've been Here's the thing. So I have no chips to When early. you call someone an idiot. That's a good sign. It means I like you. No, it's not just a good sign. You're so unsharp that it means they're probably good. Seriously. Well, no, I just do it out of love. Uh, yeah, I understand. You know, so, um, it's a double double good. I just have my boy Scotty over here at Bowman. He check raised me. I, I have to make this easy fold. Instead, I gave him 4,000 in chips. So, you don't uh, want to call him. Well, I'm in the small. I'm going to tell you this, because I consider sure. you top 308 players in the world, so maybe top two. Uh, here's the situation. Um... He limps the small blind. I have ace, four, four, eight, four, eight of spades and a big blind. Flop comes ace, deuce of spades and a queen. He bet a thousand, I call. Turn card seven of spades. I now have a low and a flush. He checked. I bet 2,000. He check you raises me. You can't bet me. anything but 2,000. I know. I, I've got a fold when he check raises me. You know why? Because you're like, for half of them. I have a four to win three. You can't tell him things like that. I know I can't tell him these things. I wouldn't have folded. But, but I know that. I know. But I knew that. cooler. And I knew it. I knew it when I did it. And I, I, I thought for three minutes. I'm like, "What are you doing, Mike? This is like, when Mark, this is like when, when Mike's on point. He's falling. Snap fall. Snap fall. And, and you know I know that. When and I'm sharp. Point. I wasn't sharp yet. No, if you keep folding. No, I knew it was a fold. It was fucking. It was so mistake. Such a mistake on my part. All right, there we go. We got to. We got to go outside and talk to some great players. And now we're going back in. Talk to y'all later. Alrighty, well, we just busted the horse uh, at level six. I actually won two pots in a row to get to 25,000. Um, and then I just lost three hold'em hands in a row. Uh, one I should have called the river. I don't know. He raised up front. I'm 10, 10, 9, two diamonds. I three bet him. I ace king. He check raised me. I, I don't I know he's got like king queen or jack queen or something. But. Whatever, it comes an eight of diamonds on the end, and I folded for the last 3,000. Uh, I, I never, I won one pot all, all day, literally. One and a half pots. So, uh, I don't feel I play bad. Uh, just, I'm, I'm really disappointed. I've been waiting the whole day for this tournament, and now I'm out with nothing to do early. Talk to you later.